everybody, my name is Ricky Nelson and welcome to the rank. As you can see, today I am dressed for sports. Football is back. Yes, it's not EPL, it's not Manchester United playing, but it's football. The Bundesliga is back, they are starting their first games today and we are excited. So that aside, today's topic is a bit different, today's topic is a bit serious, today's topic is a bit scary. Most importantly, today's topic is important. I start off today by asking a simple question. What's your relationship with the police? What is the first thought that comes to your mind when you hear the word police? Do you know how many police officers are there in this country? When I was researching this video, I found out that there are a little under 100,000 police officers in Kenya. And I don't trust a goddamn one. And this is because of my experiences with the police. I have never had a positive experience with any police officer. Case in point, I once was arrested. Nothing major, just a simple traffic offense. I was arrested and they impounded my car, so I had to go to court. And after I had my day in court, I got back to the police station only to find that my car has been vandalized. Yes, my car was vandalized inside a police station. My level of distrust to the police force made it such that I could not even file my police report properly because each time he asked me and what was taken from the car or what is missing, in the back of my head, all I could think about is he trying to make a list to find out if they missed anything? Seriously though, uh, the main essence of this video today is to discuss our relationship with the police and I feel it is seriously wanting because when you look around all you see is negative stuff all you see is stories like this following a fracas occasioned by overcrowding the police also lobbed tear gas into crowds of people causing even more pandemonium the commuters accused the police of high-handedness and clumsiness in controlling the crowd that was waiting to board the ferry to beat the curfew deadline each time i see one of these things it does nothing but affirm my lack of trust and disbelief in our police force if you go to their website their vision is listed there as to be a world-class police service with a people-friendly responsive and professional workforce people friendly people friendly because a greater number of them are nothing close to this at this time i want you to share your police story good or bad it doesn't matter share your police story in the comment section below and i want you to use the hashtag my police story on the flip side not all police officers are like this there are some who go above and beyond their mission statement and to them we salute you we urge the rest of the police force to employ you to emulate you for example, this police officer who made the headline during the recent curfew and also this police officer who was seen trying to fill potholes in Nairobi. There are some police officers who exemplify who they are, who are actually in this to help people. They are, on, if you look at their logo, it says Utumishi Kwawate. In translation, my story is not that great, but I believe in translation, this means service to all. A couple of years ago, Eric Wanana did a song, Kitu Kidogo, and it touched the police force. It talked about the general negative state of affairs in our country, but it touched the police force where any service and anything that you required to get for them needed for you to give out something, as in it had to be a quid pro quo arrangement. And this is not the case. I believe that if you're in an office of the state, if you're a public servant, this is a calling. You're supposed to be there to want to help people. You're not fine. There are, there are pay bonuses that come with it. There are allowances and there are certain benefits that come in the service. But the bottom line is that you are there to serve people for the greater good. And if you do not have this, if you do not have this calling, if you do not have this gift, I really don't think you should throw your hat into the police service. I really don't think that you should have any interest in public service. 
We should be able to trust our police officers. We should be able to work with our police officers. But if the situation remains as it is, we will never have that. If the situation remains as it is, in fact, it will only get worse. In summary, my mission or my point in this video is to all the police officers, you are Kenyan, sorry, you are human and you are Kenyan before you are a police officer. Till next video, my name is Ricky Nelson and this is The Bounty.